Hey there. Um, this is just gonna be a quick tutorial uh, for mostly just modifications to Friday Night Funkin'. And this won't be insanely limited to just FNF. You can do other things outside of this with this code. But you can. But this is just obviously a standby. So in the description of the video, I have left the GitHub. I have left the GitHub with for the transparent and multiple window code. Now, um, me and all of these people worked on it. Um, uh, Yoshi Crafter and K Dev mostly just did outside help and didn't directly like make it. But overall, they did help a lot. And all these people are really cool, and you should go follow them, especially this one. But first thing you're going to want to do is just go ahead and open Visual Studio Code and I'm just going to open a folder so I can easily scroll through and here here we have the folder So once you're in the source folder, what you're going to want to do is go to the description below and download the uh, Flixel uh, transgen tra Transgender, the Flixel Transparent window. And you're just going to want to go ahead and uh, just copy and paste it into your source. Now once you're in here, you're just going to, we'll test this out with a stage. So what you're going to want to do is just go down to... Let's go down to the week one stage. First, what you're gonna want to do is copy the first line, of, the first bit of code that I put in the GitHub. Is this basically what this does is just make a a, a FLX sprite with the color of one, one, with the red color value of one, the green color value of one, and the blue color value of one. And after you do, and after you do that, you're going to want to put uh, the second line of code in FLX trans window dot get windows transparent. All that this does is pull any color value with 111 and make it uh, basically invisible and that's what makes the transparency work. So let's go ahead and compile. After you finish compiling, just go ahead and navigate to the software. On this stage, um, Three, See, two, this is one, one of go. the issues with this code. If you look close on like Daddy Dearest and Girlfriend, you can see like little pixels are like a little bit see-through. Now, with this, what I usually do if you get this error is if you go ahead and go, if you get this error, this is just a quick thing, um, change your color to 24, 24, 24. Same with it, and in FLX Trans Window, change 111 to 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24. Basically what this does is change it from just the the dark black to a lighter gray, which is less common in most sprite sheets. But I only recommend this if you're getting that type of visual glitch. So let's go ahead and test that out. Three, there two, we go. One, As you can go. see, it pulled the transparency, but you can't see that exactly yet. And you can see there's no pixel glitches or anything. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and comment out all of the stage code. There so we can see the transparency. Three, two, there we go. One, go. Now, transparency is a little weird, so if you see around the note splashes and the notes, you can see there's like a little gray box surrounding it. It's a little bit of an odd situation, because if we go ahead and look at the note assets themselves, you'll see that Around them are these little transparent, or um, their opacity or alpha is half, 
And basically, the game does not really know how to handle this very well, or the calculations mainly. And so it'll just fill this in, it'll fill the underneath of that with black. Which, I don't think, there, uh, as of now, I don't know if there's a fix to that, but if there is, I will go ahead and uh, try to figure that out. So next, let's go on to multiple windows. What you're going to want to go ahead and do is, co first of all, you're going to want to copy these imports. What these do is mainly just uh, let you control things from those, whatever the hell is called, the HX files. And then what you're going to want to do is define the variables that I listed before, which is the window dad, the dad window sprite, and the dad window scroll. Next, you want to go down to the update function below the call on rules of on update posts. So I'm just going to search for this line. Okay. Now you're going to want to copy and paste the code that I put that I put below that, which is this. Basically, what this does is pull the frame of the da of the dad character. Then it pulls a rectangle that makes all of the frames and scrolls it and the scroll pulls the scroll across the dad's current frame then you're going to want to uh, copy and paste the function that I put in the github this now let me go ahead and rearrange this stuff real quick basically all this does is custom with custom height custom mass blah 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 this creates a new window and it what this right here it creates a bitmap of the dad's current pixels and with the scroll it puts it all across it and it scrolls across the current dad's frames now this stuff that I have commented out if you want to put a background image I'll go over this in a little bit but if you want to put a background image like example the stage you can go ahead and just put that there and the reason it's commented out is because for some people apparently it was crashing i'll just go ahead and if it crashes for me i'll go ahead and fix that bug let's compile after we put in all these functions if we don't get any errors then we can go ahead and test out the function itself it doesn't appear that we got any errors on compiler therefore we follow the syntax or whatever now the way that i would test this is just to go to start song and do a quick check for the curse stage, so do if curse stage equals stage, just do like pop up window, pop up window, just do a thousand, just do like a thousand, a thousand, and then dad test big boss. Let me make sure that's correct. It's custom X, okay. So just do zero, and then dad test big balls. I think that should be fine. Test this out. Three, two, one, go! There we go. Now, um, you'll see, well, Obviously, I'll take a bit. You'll see that Dad is here. If you want to increase the size of Dad, let me go to the pop-up window function real quick. I believe it is. Yes, it's the scale X. You can change that to whatever number that you want to change it to. Like as you'll see, in comparison to the actual Funkin window, that is pretty small, but. You can always change that or change the default cam zoom to fit the window. And always, if you want to like make it a mid-song event, I have this right here for doing the function. Whenever you want to do it, it'll hide the dad group in the game. So it'll hide this sprite right here and it'll only show the sprite on the window. Now I'm going to go over putting the image here. I'm going to uncomment this and this too. 
So basically, right here, you just pull whatever image you want from the assets shared images. So I'll just put stage back. And I'll test if that works. If it doesn't, then I will come back to you in a moment when it's fixed. hiding as you can see it put in the image for the stage back um, that should be it I thank you for watching this video and uh, using the code that me and all these people made now please the one thing I would like to say I do not recommend I really don't recommend using this code in like big public projects because the window code, while cool, I don't think it is not very stable and can cause a lot of crashes and issues. Transparent windows, um, they should be good, but it can mess with some recordings. Like if some people record just the application, it can just get a, a black background for some people. And also, the transparency will break if you have the application in full screen. So what I would do is an update, I would just do a check for the curse date, so just do a quick check for if curse stage equals stage, do this. That way, if someone is in full screen or tries to full screen, it kicks them out of it. I recommend if you um, are planning on using this code in a released mod, that you put a warning before the song starts. Therefore, people will know if they are recording that they can change their thing to their full desktop instead of just the window. And if people have lower end PCs or different sized monitors, that they can go ahead and uh, toggle the setting off for the window stuff or just miss out on the song. That should be it for now. Uh, thank you for watching and make sure to follow all the people. And uh, if you use this in mods, I recommend crediting the GitHub since that's the best way to link to all the people that helped make this possible. Uh, thank you and have a good day.